Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and I've been researching indoor air quality. This is the air we breathe that's going to keep you and your family safe. There are so many environmental issues that can make your air unhealthy to breathe. I'm going to focus today on carbon dioxide, CO2. In the past, people have focused on carbon monoxide. That CO, it doesn't have that second molecule of oxygen. There is a difference to understand what my air quality in my house is. And I found Inkbird. I reached out to Inkbird to sponsor this video. And their air quality monitor not only monitors CO2 concentration, it also monitors temperature, relative humidity, and atmospheric pressure. Inkbird has done the research and development to bring all of those readings into their air monitor in the most high-tech way using the best of technology and best of reading sensors because your sensor has to be at the highest quality in order to get accurate readings. While doing my research, I found it fascinating how carbon dioxide is an issue in today's internal environments. The carbon dioxide level that gets read by the Inkford air monitor is what's gonna tell you in the very best of monitoring all the different poisonous gases, it's the one that gives you the clearest indication of how your internal air quality reads. Right now in this room, my air quality level of carbon dioxide is 582. Within my house, it's been reading between 400 and 600. Anything below 1,000 parts per million is just fine. So I know my air quality in my house is great right now. I have all the windows closed because I want to do a real accurate reading. Most of us have heard if that we were in a closed room, we could eventually run out of oxygen and have too much carbon dioxide and we could die. This is the whole theory of why we want to monitor the carbon dioxide because other things besides just breathing can cause carbon dioxide to gain a hold in your interior space. HVAC systems in the house also emit carbon dioxide as well as carbon monoxide. Now carbon monoxide, that CO, is known as a silent killer because toxic gas can have no taste or smell. Well, carbon dioxide, known as CO2, is also odorless and colorless. However, unlike carbon monoxide, it can produce a faint acid-like taste in your mouth. Now, if you have a pilot that's going on and off, that could be a sign of a CO2 problem with your HVAC system. On my flame, there's a little yellow to it. You really want a blue flame. There is a little issue with my heating system. Another household appliance that produces carbon dioxide is also your laundry system. My dryer is a gas dryer, and that needs a pilot that's lit, so that too can emit carbon dioxide. And if you smell a sour or still smelling air around these types of appliances, that can be a symptom in your home that you have too much CO2 emitting from your appliances. And your fireplace can also cause this. Not always is a draft proper, and you can have smoke that comes back into your rooms from your fireplace that can contain CO2 as well. One of the biggest places to have too much carbon dioxide is a bedroom. Many people like to sleep in a very still room with no air coming in or the air outside could be too cold or too hot. So people like to close the windows at night. So in every bedroom, I always wanna have my Inkbird Smart Indoor Air Quality Monitor. Do you ever wake up in the morning feeling tired? It could be because the CO2 levels at night were much higher than you realized. We emit more CO2 while we're sleeping and at rest as we're exhaling. And in your rooms, maybe you have houseplants. And at night, those houseplants too emit CO2, carbon dioxide. During the daytime, they're creating oxygen. But at night, when it goes dark, they're emitting carbon dioxide. The health systems of too much carbon dioxide are dizziness, shortness of breath, feelings of exhaustion, headaches, migraines, and sometimes even nausea. But we know we can have all of those symptoms with illnesses too. That's why you need an air monitor. That's why you need the Inkbird, which is the smartest indoor quality air monitor, monitor I-A-M-T-I. The Inkbird Smart Indoor Air Quality Monitor, it's highly precise so you can have real-time information for your family protection. It's equipped with the world's leading NDIR air sensor. How an NDIR carbon dioxide sensor works, it reads the infrared light that passes through the length of the carbon dioxide gas molecules. The spectroscope inside detects the carbon dioxide that's flowing through your air and reports back 
on the LED monitor the reading in the very moment. This very small smart indoor air quality monitor is tiny but mighty. Its size is only just about four inches by four inches by one inch thick. That's small. The LED monitor is clear and easy to read and so much information is on that LED. The large number is the carbon dioxide level. Now the small little A on the top of the screen means that's in auto calibration. The next icon is the Bluetooth icon. That speaker icon is a buzzer switch icon. You can use the Inkbird app and have a buzzer go on if there's an issue that you're monitoring. The buzzer settings can be adjusted using the Inkbird app. The light bar at the bottom of the LED display is a CO2 threshold level indicator. The progress bar will show green when the CO2 concentration level is in a good state. That's below 1,000 parts per million. It goes to yellow if it's over 1,000 and below 1,400 parts per million, but it goes to red over 1,400 parts per million. Now you might want to set your buzzer to go off if it ever gets to the red. Now these are the default thresholds, but you also can refigure it using the Inkbird app. The top number on the right side is a temperature. Mine is set to Fahrenheit, but I could have set it in centigrade. Below that is a relative humidity percent. The percent is a measure of the actual amount of water vapor in the air compared to the total amount of vapor that can exist in the air at its current temperature. And as it's expressed as a percentage, it's the amount of atmospheric moisture present relative to the amount that would be present if the air was saturated, if it were raining. It's really interesting to know what your relative humidity is inside your house. It lets you know if you're not comfortable and you feel sticky, it's because your humidity is high inside your house. That's an interesting number to watch. High levels of humidity could lead to the development of mildew and mold, corrosion, and rust inside of buildings. Not only does it matter to your comfort. It's so smart it keeps data of air quality, and the app is as easy to read as a display on my Inkbird air monitor. So pressing the data, it's loading the data now. And you can see my range is in yellow. This is a good range. If it had been very bad above 5,000 parts per million, it would have registered red lines. My range was from 461 parts per million of carbon dioxide to a maximum of 767 parts per million. That's very good. Let's go to my temperature. It's summertime. My average household temperature has been 71 degrees with a minimum of about 69 degrees and a maximum of 78 degrees. That makes sense because my house is not air conditioned. Let's see my humidity. It's been quite tropical where I live, but not above the red line. The minimum humidity was 2%, the maximum is 82%, and it averages around 77%. That makes sense. And this last indicator is for atmospheric pressure. But for my indoor air quality, what I'm most interested in reading is my carbon dioxide levels. And on this particular day, I was testing it all over in different places of my house and getting all kinds of readings. I thought that's quite fascinating to have all those readings. Your graphs will come daily, but you can also press it to get one week of graphs, press it again for one month of graphs, press it again for three months of graphs, press it again for six months of graphs and reading, all the way to a year. Amazing. It'll keep all of that data so you can always know what your air quality has been for any of those time frames. It's so accurate. When you order your Inkbird Smart Indoor Air Quality Monitor, it'll ship right to your door. This is what the box looks like. This is the front of the box. Now this is the back of the box with all those features and the sides of the box. I opened the box up and this is how it was packaged. I took everything out of the box and I laid it on a mat. There was the monitor and it came with batteries and it came with an instruction manual and a quick start guide. And the quick start guide was great because that has all the information on how to set up your app. I like that it came with batteries. So I put those in and after you put the batteries in, there's a button and just short pressing the button can change it from centigrade to Fahrenheit. On the right is the Bluetooth switch. The very top, there's a little hole in case you want to mount it to a wall. So let me show you what it looks like close up on the counter here. This is what's on the display when it first goes on. And now with the batteries in, I'm gonna hook it up to my app. I found the pamphlet great because it talks about downloading the app. Here's every page of that pamphlet. You can see that it's well-written, it's clear, and it has great illustrations. It's a very thorough booklet. And the front of it has a QR code that you could download, but you can also just go to the app store. I found Inkford Air Monitor 
I clicked on that and I downloaded that app. I put in the normal information, which includes my email, set me up a password. It also wanted me to verify my email and that was a good move because you don't want to send to the wrong email in case you typed it incorrectly. So I verified it. And now all of my air quality readings were being monitored and recorded in that app. The home page even tells your temperature in your city. That's mine in sunny Santa Barbara. It also gives me a sunrise and sunset time. I thought that was kind of cool. On my app, this is just one of the monitors. This is the first monitor I put into my app. You can name it, but this is what it is. So I press that and I got to what that monitor was reading. Here we have the golden color, which is fine. The air pressure, the temperature, and damp for humidity. Within the video, I've already shown a lot of the readings. So I show you how the graphing goes. And there you can also set the temperature for Celsius or centigrade. And then when you press a CO2, you can get the default settings of your carbon dioxide readings. The default was just fine with me, so I just press save. You can also decide your interval of measurements. The default is set at one minute, that works for me. And I really like that the default setting also has the alarm already on in case your carbon dioxide gets too high. And you can scroll up and do other things like light mode or dark mode and a button for user guide. Then reading the paper pamphlets. Now here's a page for calibration in case you want to change from default to your particular settings that you choose. And also in the app alarm. It's set at 5,000 parts per million and that's fine. I could also add a temperature reminder or a humidity reminder or an air pressure reminder. All of that's possible. It's a very complete app. Click the link below to get Inkbird's Smart Air Quality Indoor Monitor, model IAMTI. This is the latest in indoor air technology, and I think every room in your house needs to be monitored like I'm doing in my house. I hope you liked this video. Hope it was informative for you. I hope you subscribe to my channel and click the link to get notified of my next video, and let's keep making great recipes in life. And today's recipe is a great recipe for the most important thing, the air we breathe inside your house. <laughs> See you next time. If you like this video, here's some more over there, including some great recipes. And some of those smell really good. <laughs>